At now, he shocked to fame back in 2019 when he entered the Love Island villa and had his head turned by the bombshell Molly May. Since then, Tommy Fury has swapped reality TV for the boxing ring. Wow. And last month, he beat YouTuber Jake Paul in an intense eight-round oh. contest. And if he wasn't busy enough already, earlier this year, just six weeks ago, Tommy and Molly May welcomed their baby girl, Bambi. Oh, oh I know. We're here to tell us more. It is Tommy Fury! Yeah. what you won the other week. There you go. Yep, that's the one. Wow. The one. Right okay, now. there we are. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes, thank wow. you. Wow, this is, is it heavy? It's heavy. It's heavy. Feel it. Oh my You're God. not letting that go, are you? That was hard oh, fun. That was, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Not really through the fight, but uh, through the build-up, to be honest. Yeah. 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 There's a lot gone into that, a lot of hard yeah. work. Oh, like so, yeah. what? Tell us, because I don't know that much about boxing. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily a fight, you know. The fight was pretty much the easy part, uh, yeah. believe it or not. Um, but it was just a build-up, you know, three years of constant, you know, getting heckled at in public, you know, going out your missus, you know, you're going to really? lose to this heckled guy. Heckled in public? Wow. Yeah, definitely, you know, it'd be every day. What about, know? what, about the, the components you're going to be fighting against? Yeah, what? just everything, you know. Um, I, this fight was meant to happen twice before, you know, I supposedly backed out twice, I was supposedly running scared, I didn't wow. want to fight. Oh, wow, wow. And, you know, coming, um, coming through on Sunday just proved everyone wrong, yeah. so... God, it's yeah, one thing to it. get things on social media, yeah. but to get actual feet... I mean, I wouldn't pick on you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I suppose that's I'm the not. thing, it's a dis... Judy! <laughs> 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 but that's the thing, it's a disciplined sport, isn't it? If you're just... You know, throwing punches around, then it, then it's not. So it must be so hard knowing that you yeah. can to yeah. just control yourself and keep focused. Huh? Yeah, definitely. You know, I do my fighting in the ring. Uh, I'm not really interested in uh, altercation outside of yeah. that. So uh, you Ooh. know, people's always going to have opinions. So they can think what they what they want to think. I went out there on Sunday, did what I was meant to do, and uh, here we are. And how yeah, did it, it feel? Was... How did it feel when you realised that you'd done it? It felt amazing because obviously having you know Tyson as a brother. You know, I've I've been there every th every single big fight he's ever had. And, you know, Sunday night was my big night, you know, especially yeah. in the boxing, you know, you see him there, he was, um, oh, he was very proud. What a proud face yeah. that is. So, uh, <laughs> no, it was good. It was nice to have my time at the top and, uh, you know, it was nice to prove everyone wrong. That was the main thing about this fight because mm -hmm. there had so many people, even fellow Brits, you know, former world champions saying that I would lose or get knocked out. Wow. Um, you know, and what that shuts everyone that up. What was like for you? It was Especially tough. Especially when, when, it's, when it's also fellow professionals as well that's yeah. saying this. Yeah, it was tough because um, I was like, are these guys seeing something that I can't see? Like, what's going mm -hmm. on here? Like, um, why am I fe like fellow people, you know? If you're going to support someone, support your, your own, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's such uh, a psychological game, isn't yeah. it? That, like yeah, you it say, is. starts way before the fight of trying to undermine your confidence and all of that. So do you have, like, psychologists and stuff, like tennis players Very do, big. you know, that build up that confidence or you just get on with it yourself? No, I mean... Uh, Fighting towards in our family is like having a having a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not a big deal at all. Some people yeah. get pressured up with it. You but I had the weight of the world on my shoulders um, on fight night. Yeah. But yeah. you know I love fighting. This is what this is what I do. You know it's what I'm born to do. I've done it ever since being a child. So uh, well, you certainly think, proved yeah. them wrong. Um, and what I want to ask you because a lot of it, as Nadia suggested, there is about focus before the fight. And you went and had a baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you focus when you've got a newborn baby? You know, it was it was very tough. There was a lot going on in the build-up to this you know obviously Bambi my little girl was oh, born um, oh, six yeah. weeks ago and um, so I was kind of having a lot of FaceTime calls but I was constantly switching from trying to be the fighter and the mm. aggressive man getting ready for war and then trying to be the the daddy you know yeah. trying to yeah. split myself into a million pieces and you just can't do it so uh, there's a lot of phone calls a lot of conversations but we got through it but you've done it well you know there was some mm. negative comments about you leaving to go and train and so on how did yeah. you deal with that and how did that make you feel Again, you know, I'm, I'm not bothered about anyone's opinion, to be honest. Yeah. As long as my family and my missus, you yeah. know, and my children yeah. um, think that I'm doing all right, that's all that matters to me. And I knew that, you know, people can say what they want, but I'm a way for her exactly. to make sure she has a better future. Yeah. Can I ask a really silly it's... question? <laughs> Does it really hurt? <laughs> Because um, <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Yeah. You've got, got stitches? Yeah, I got the stitches. I saw the stitch. I was like... Oh. Oh. Judy, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> she was getting a thermometer out and everything. <laughs> oh, wait, I mean, but 
you, you look you look trained so well. I feel like yeah. from doing boxing myself, <laughs> not to your level, obviously. <laughs> it is such an intense. I think you are some of the most fit athletes yeah. ever. Like, you, oh, thank you. And you can be fit though, but it's difficult for your other half. So for Molly May, yeah. Yeah. So we all know what it's See like. Uh, loving, yeah, and especially oh. when you've yeah. just had. It's quite a vulnerable time, isn't it, when mm. you've had a baby? Yeah. What was it like for her? Mm to see you being in that ring and doing the training and sort of psychologically dealing what you had to deal with whilst also her getting used to being a mum. Mm. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, um, very tough on her. You know, the build-up was just her emotions were up and down everywhere. You know, on the actual night of the fight, she never watched it. You know, she was upstairs. I think she was breastfeeding at the time. Um, oh. And she was just waiting for her sister to come up and stairs to obviously say that I'd won. Um, is that because she doesn't like to see? Yeah, she oh, is, like. it, is yeah, this the moment the video, where she yeah. found out? Oh, <laughs> oh that is yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Oh, oh. That, this is it. Her sister. Oh, there. Yeah. And then that's when she tells her that's the news. That's when she found out, yeah. Oh, Actually, wow. it, do you, because um, as you know, Paris comes on yeah. as a panelist Ooh. on the show a lot. And she was talking about when Tyson stopped, it wasn't great for his mental health because yeah. actually the training mm. gave him you know, clarity of thought and purpose. Yeah. Do you sort of fall into that camp as well? Yeah, definitely. I think being a fighter, you know, um, especially just growing up with that, you know, we only know one thing. You know, yeah. to fight, and you you take that out of our lives, even for just you know two weeks, three weeks to have a break. You know, you sat around to it, and your thumbs like, oh, what am I going to do? I need to get back in the gym. You start feeling mm. a bit fidgety, so it's very important to just keep yourself busy and keep training for us anyway. Well, you're going and to you be have, very busy oh, now, aren't you? You've got little oh. baby Bambi. I mean, She's I must so cute. I must <laughs> say, so though, the, the name there was when you was in Love Island. Yeah. You, you both body mate chose Mayo, was it? You had Mayo. <laughs> Something like that. Something like, <laughs> how did you get to the beautiful name Bambi? Like, what was it that so, you both? It's a really amazing story, to be honest, because obviously in the villa, um, we was obviously talking about it. Then when we left, we was talking about even more having babies. And there was only one name for our little girl, and it was Bambi, because when Molly was young, she only ever wanted to call her little, da her little daughter one thing, and that was Bambi. Oh, so I'm not going to be that guy to say no, you know, so, and I love the name anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're not and be how it. much, how much do you love being a dad? It's the best thing that has ever happened to me, you know, for, oh. forget the boxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boxing's. Um, a small print in comparison to being a father, you know, waking up every day and just seeing her beautiful face. I mean, you can't be in a bad mood, you know. I feel like a yeah. different man through her being here, so I'm very thankful to God that we're oh. in this position. Oh, oh. amazing. You know what? He smells lovely, too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, Tommy, it's been an absolute joy to have you on the you. on the show, and yeah, please lovely. give Bambi a massive kiss. I will do. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Oh,